many artists of color, specifically female artists of color, don't have the same opportunity to create monumental works. We are rarely given the opportunity to take up a lot of physical space. Speaking of space, the space we're sitting in now, I think it's pretty exciting that Pioneer Works has this platform for artists to take up space. That's why we were able to, or the artists were able to create these incredible pieces. I think they all offer this sort of moment of contemplation, which is really exciting. Xavier has been around for quite some time, as well as Abigail, creating incredible, powerful pieces. We really wanted to draw attention to their practice in, in a way that was so monumental that people would have to talk about it and, and see them and think of them in a, in a different way, perhaps, than how they have thought of them in the past. And basically make them the new heavies of uh, the art world. I wanted to make a work that was monumental, and I was really excited to think about material. I wanted to work with something that was very timeless, that was very familiar to people, but change it and transform how it was presented. I also wanted to think about the political, but in a, in a more nuanced way. Something that would touch many different senses at once. First thing you see is a step pyramid that's made out of recycled trash cans from a defunct social security building in Baltimore. They're filled with bottles, some that were harvested from South Brooklyn, and thinking about the ways in which the art economy disrupts neighborhoods. To reinsert the humanity or the material evidence of the existence of the overlooked, the kind of unwanted of society. And then you're presented with a dome made out of steel and covered with chicken wire and has different portal spaces that are sculpted into it. The monitors that have specific landscapes in American history, maybe functioning as like a diorama in the ways in which the American narrative of greatness has been spun over the last 250 plus years. The bondage of like colonialism, racism, you name it. having just American artists in shows that we were curating just didn't feel right anymore, right? And especially when black and brown bodies protesting yeah. and in solidarity with us all around the world, we felt that we needed to bring in a different perspective on, on the same conversation. Rosa just fit the bill. Poro interviews the inhabitants. Let us hear the maid's testimony. <laughs> That's quite interesting in sound as a possibility to kind of escape those normal um, barriers of identity. People engage with what you're saying, especially when it seems like a bit esoteric, as Black Poirot did when I think I first thought about it. And Poirot, who's positioned both inside the manor house, but socially outside of it. Since I was a child, I was quite interested in Poirot as the character which comes to like symbolise a lot about British identity. The crime is discovered. I've never done anything like this before, especially working on this kind of scale. The various characters are introduced. I wanted to create a space that was a dark room, but not black, so that you maybe like register it a little bit more than a traditional cinematic space. Mm. 
You have Moira Stewart, who is one of the first black presenters to present the news on British national television. Her face is a black woman's face. It's used and deployed by the establishment. In a way, it's kind of like a romantic view of like the empire and saying, oh, isn't it great that the empire happens because now we have all of these black and brown people in our country. I feel excited. It's really nice to get people in America interested in my work. That's really flattering. You keep seeing like these white guys taking up all this space, you know, from mid 20th century on and the ways in which they're mythologized and valorized and, you know, yeah, I could do that too. Like, I want to take up some space too, you know? And thinking about the ways in which the stories that you care about maybe are, are very minuscule or small or have been pushed aside and then how can you push those things under a magnifying glass and realize that they're also a part of what makes this place giant quotation marks great. <laughs> That is a responsibility of all of us to push this narrative till we start to see a wholeness come so that we can open more doors for more people to have fuller human lives. What I would like for the viewer to experience is to allow themselves to just be in the moment and to take in all of the sensual and opulent and psychological monumentality that is given in each particular space and to engage with the peace on various levels, spiritually, emotionally, and physically in this way where you can sort of walk around or just be centered.